Hey there guys, excitement is building now as Deontay Wilder vs Tyson Fury nears its fight date. It will be happening on Saturday, they will be getting in the ring. The lineal status heavyweight champion Tyson Fury goes over to America to face the WBC undefeated champion Deontay Wilder. This is the fight that could be made, the biggest fight in the heavyweight division at the moment because it is the biggest fight that could be made. Anthony Joshua Deontay Wilder fight could not be made, the agreement was not reached and that was mostly down to the promotional teams of both fighters so we can't really talk about that fight. That would have been the biggest fight but it wasn't made so this is the biggest fight that could have been made in the heavyweight division so this is the one we are getting. So if you haven't already booked the fight or if you're flying out to see it which would be awesome so well done if you're going out to see the fight but if not if you're watching at home just make sure you have your friends around or just make sure you're ready for this fight because it is going to be a huge event and one for the history books. Tyson Fury, he is unorthodox and very tricky. Deontay Wilder carries that great power. But as I said in my last video, both fighters will have to take attributes from the other fighter's game to in order to win, which is, I think, a great matchup stylistically because Tyson Fury is going to have to punch a lot harder than he has been in his last few fights because he's going to have to keep Deontay Wilder from wanting to rush in. Because if he doesn't keep Deontay Wilder away, Wilder would just walk through his punches to land his big shot. But also, if Deontay Wilder is not moving well and punching, jabbing, he doesn't use his jab very well at times, so he needs to use his jab in this fight and move well, like Tyson Fury, otherwise he's going to be a st static target for Tyson Fury which is not where you want to be against Tyson Fury because once Tyson Fury gets his momentum and starts moving well and jabbing, that is very hard to break and Tyson Fury does not make mistakes. He's one of very few fighters that when they get in their rhythm and they start gaining momentum, they do not lose their concentration. Tyson Fury will happily box 12 rounds if he has to to win the fight, but I don't believe that is what he wants. He wants to take Deontay Wilder out, make a statement over in America, baby, I'm back. That is his dream, return of the Mac. But Deontay Wilder, he wants that big fight with Anthony Joshua. He wants to knock out Tyson Fury, then go on to Joshua and beat Britain, basically, in the boxing ring. Tyson Fury, then Anthony Joshua. I believe that is Deontay Wilder's plan. Become lineal champion, WBC champion, and then try and take the big man, AJ, next year. Which is, I think, a great plan, but he still has to get through Tyson Fury. So this is going to be a very difficult fight for him. But it's going to be a difficult fight for Tyson Fury too. They are both going up against the toughest tests in their career. I know Tyson Fury has faced Vladimir Klitschko in the past and beat him quite easily. But I believe Deontay Wilder poses a completely different threat than what Vladimir Klitschko did. So Tyson Fury is going to have to be on his A-game and bring his best career performance. But then again, so is Deontay Wilder. But anyway, what do you think? Who will bring that A-game, the best performance of their career? And win the fight by knockout or by points. I don't believe the fight goes past the 8th round and I'm picking the 7th but I don't I don't really know who who has it in them to win. We will soon find out. I think we will know more after the first round. But anyway, please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Please also like, share and subscribe to the channel. Crunch Boxing and Sport.